All right, we are actually live. <laughs> so, so hey, people are showing up. Let's go to our Facebook pages and share the stuff. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Psychic Shenanigans with V and Mitchell. Hey guys. Oh, <laughs> turn volume down. <laughs> oh my gosh. So as people are showing up, we'll wait just a moment before we kind of see what's been going on in each other's lives. Um, I hope you're well over there. I am not. I am not bad. I am actually very, very good. It's beautiful outside today. Hubby and I went and got ice cream and sat at the park and ate. <gasps> nice. Yes. Hey, Paula. I got, I got new color. I know. I saw that. I like that. There's a little rainbow or something at the top too. Yeah, like this one was like a whole rainbow braid. Oh, I love it. And there's a little throwback to the to the red light. Yes, of course. <laughs> and then I'm throwing in my little cosmic with the blue and the, the rainbow. So Hey, Norm. Hey, Erica. Hey, guys. Judy. Hello, hello, hello. So, V, what's been going yeah. on? You want to share anything that's happening in your life? So, uh, if you guys follow me on Instagram, I actually just made my first post today. Um, I am not only the Tarot BFF, I am also the Cosmic Confidence Coach. So I am moving into the space of coaching. So Yay. it's kind of like a um, the aftercare of tea. So when we sit down to tea, we hash it all out. We get all the business. People know what they want. And they're like, yes, I have clarity. But then there's this pause of, well, how do I get there? Where do I start? And that's where the coaching picks up. So I'm trying to get you from A all the way to Z. Nice. <laughs> So um, that is my um, still I'm working through everything with my business course, but that is the next level that I am stepping into. Not giving up being a BFF of tarot because that is first love always mm -hmm. adding an extra component to um, carry my BFFs from point A to point B. So that's the biggest thing that's happening for me as business course and all of it. And I love it every minute of being a student. So oh. I, t I, I, I tell you, I t speaking of students, I, I put this here to, I just love to read. So this the Terror Tour guy from Christiana Gaudet, and she was doing her, um, she was doing uh, her talk um, mm -hmm. for StarCon, and I was there, and she's like, some, 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 I'm saying, excuse me, and you're like, I'm typing, um, can you post that? And she goes, you have to buy my book. So I, of course, I'm going to buy her freaking book. But yeah. this, see this diagram? Uh-huh. So basically, it's like the first box is, is there anyone that you know who might be a candidate? You draw a card. If the card feels like a yes, then you go to the next box. What might happen with this person? If it's a no, you drop down and say, are there any likely people that you can meet soon? And if you get a yes, then you go back up to the other. It's like, it in other words, each time you take a step, pull on a card, you go to the correct corresponding box. And you know me, I love spreads. I love structure. So yeah. I just, I, yeah, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm just going to try to figure out how to control it. Cause, cause I did a practice run the other day. I was like, okay, that didn't go so well. Cause it literally went, is there anybody? And it was like, you know, like 10 of wands. No. Is there anybody up? Okay. Nine of swords. No. Okay. You're going to be alone the rest of your life and reading over. <laughs> So what do I charge for that? <laughs> exactly. Like this is enter at your own risk. <laughs> oh. And and then so um, let me let me let me do this because I did a whole video um, of these two last night and let me shrink it down so so I can squeeze it in between us. So those are that Stefano and Santiago. If you're looking on, um, it was over you and I moved it to the middle. Um, if, you, if you're looking on the screen, you can see the two of them together. Those are the new babies. They are literally three months old. And the cool thing in all of this, um, and I'm, I'll tell you the bullet point of it. Um, this is the bullet point. So after we named them and we agreed on it, I found out Stefano, that the numerology of the name Stefano is a number three, which I'm a three. Three. Santiago is an eight. Fabian is an eight. And both of us were drawn to those. Two. Like I was drawn more to Santiago, uh, Stefano and Fabian was drawn. So we were drawn to our own. The person said they, they pretty much are assuming that they were born about um, December the 19th, which is Sagittarius. I think, is that the same day as your husband or something? No, 
Oh, he's a twin first. That's right. But um, so the Sagittarius, and that that is a seven. That's seventeen, which is star, which is what eight. And then we we met him on the vegan fest, which was two twenty eight twenty twenty one, which is seventeen, which is an eight. And we picked him up on the equinox, which is three twenty 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 one, which is a ten. Wheel okay. expansion and a one magician starting beginning. So it was just it was just too uh, too powerful, <laughs> too <laughs> powerful. So I'm gonna take. I'm going to take the picture of the babies down. When I look at them, I know they're not Siamese, but when I see them, I want to sing, we are Siamese, if you please. <laughs> we are Siamese. What is that from? I can't remember what that's from. It was from a Disney movie. Um, and it's funny because I actually don't remember the movie that it's from, but I used to have a record player when I was little, and I had this Disney record that I would play, and that was one of the songs on there. And it just makes me think of that when I see the picture of the two of them curled up in their ears and they're just like, hi. <laughs> I love it. So, hey, Sue. Sue, are you having trouble getting on? <laughs> ah, aristocrats. Lady in the Tramp. Was it Lady from? Tramp. Was it Aristocrats or Lady in the Tramp? Lady in the Tramp. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Sue, the reason I was asking if you have trouble getting on because when I look on my phone, it's like Sue's watching, Sue's watching, Sue's watching. <laughs> I think it's like you keep getting booted off or something. Oh, I love it. Oh, so we will be doing some readings sometimes in a, in soon. It's only eight minutes after, so we still got some stuff going on. Um, I'm going to be reading with the Pocket of Peers Tarot. V, what you going to be reading with? I'm going to be reading with the Pocket of Peers Tiles. <laughs> So I'm using the cards. That's the back of the cards. And V is yeah. using the tile. Um, and why are we doing that, V? Because um, Pocket of Peers and all of its fun is being dropped Kickstarter on this Friday, the 26th. So if you guys want to definitely back Jamie, definitely back this deck with all of your favorites in it. Um, and all of the, you have to read the Kickstarter when it, when it drops. It's just, or go to her website and I think you can see a preview of it. I think so. It's just phenomenal how she names the things. And so, yeah, so we are definitely a hundred percent behind Jamie Sawyer. Matter of fact, let me call her in the room. Um, I'm putting her dot com up there. It's, um, Jamie Sawyer 336.com. And I don't know if she's shared this publicly, but. Have you ever heard her share why she calls it 336? I think I could, I don't think that would be out saying too much because I think she shared it publicly. So she's a 33 birth path. Duh. So three, go. so 33 and it's yep. a six. So she's, she's yep. a six path. A six got path. <laughs> she got a six path. So did you tag her? So we'll see. So you guys, if Jamie shows up, give her some love. And I put her, her jamiesawyer.com in there. Um, so we're going to be reading with everything tonight. We're going to read with everything Jamie Sawyer tonight. <laughs> you okay? I had to let me for whatever reason. It what? I tried to tag her at Jamie, but it won't let me for whatever reason. I can see it there, but it doesn't, it, it's not it doesn't. It doesn't light her name up. Interesting. Let me try it. Okay, so I just typed her name. I didn't do at. I just typed her name and then it popped up. Did it show up blue? No, it didn't show up blue here. Oh, but there's a link, so maybe it'll come up. Okay. Yeah, it, it shows a link, so if you um, look at her name, it'll come up. Cool. Oh, Sue's back again. <laughs> <laughs> Sue, what's going on over there? You got some little, you know, connective issues? <laughs> Oh, so let's see. What else is happening? New babies in the house. We went on vacation. We did a road trip, put 2,000 miles on our car. Nice. Le left Florida and drove like eight hours to Montgomery. Did, mm -hmm. a, did the day and night there. Then three hours to Memphis. Did three days, four nights there. Then mm -hmm. Memphis over to Nashville. And by the way, Nashville is basically spring break year round for country people. Oh, wow. <laughs> it okay. was like the roads are just full of people drinking and partying. Every single restaurant has a band or a, a guitar player or someone in, with the window open just blaring out. Um, 
And I gotta, I gotta tell y'all something. If you're ever in a bigger town and you see a hotel called Moxie, M-O-X-Y, um, and it's a good price, get it. We were, we were in Memphis and Moxie was one of the choices. I was like, I never heard of that hotel. Then we're in Nashville and I'm looking at the picture and I'm like, oh my God, it's, it's a trendy hotel. It's like the bartender checks you in. You know, it's like, you, and you have to have a key to get to your floor. And it's like, it's min, there's like no table. The TV's on the wall. I mean, it's all, it's just like a trendy loft apartment that was just, and it's wood pan. I mean, it's got wood in there and black metal. And it's just, and it's, it's new, but it's so trendy, so trendy. There's a bar. There's like, it's, you feel like you're in um, like um, uh, Google or Facebook, you know, in their lounge. Like there's tables and internet access and it's just very, very modern. Really cool. So, hey, Deanne. Miss you too. Hey, Louise. Louise Wheezy. I love Wheezy B. That always reminds me of Wheezy from um, uh, Moving On Up. Jeff Jefferson's. Jefferson's. Oh, my gosh. So, oh, my gosh. And I, wait a minute. So now am I mixing up 227 or Jefferson? Martha, Martha, um, no, she was Night Court. You remember Martha? I think it's Wal Wahlberg or Wash? Martha Wash? No. Not Martha Wash. That's the It's Rainy Men. Martha Wahlberg? Washington? I don't remember. Anyway, she's on TikTok. And <laughs> she's hysterical. She's like, I never fit into the typical kind of church. You know, because I didn't really feel comfortable with this whole concept of Jesus as a man. And she says, so my church I've created is called Jesus. She, Jesus. Jesus. And she says, can I get a woe man? <laughs> and I'm literally, as I'm listening to her, I'm thinking, did she really create a church or is this just her shtick? Um, awesome. But, but um, she's just hysterical. It was very funny. Awesome. Yeah, it's so funny. The Jeffersons, my, my, probably my favorite character of all on that entire show was, um, oh my God, Lenny Kravitz's mom, um, the next door neighbor, Helen, Helen Willits, oh, I think. Yeah. I don't know why I loved her. Just she was glam. She was awesome. And little did I know she was Lenny Kravitz's mama. <laughs> who, right. who, who even knew who Lenny Kravitz was then? <laughs> that part. Yeah, we don't I, need we don't need to go there. I think at that point, like we knew him as like Lisa Bonet's baby daddy. Right. Like that's if then, you know. <laughs> now on 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 different world, here I may have said this before now. Facts of life and different world were basically the same shows in my mind. The okay. two women that were my favorite characters on both of those shows was um Lisa Welshell Blair and Jasmine Guy. Um I forgot her name. Really? Whitley. Whitley. And yes. do you see my theme? The yes. rich bitches. <laughs> Bougie. <laughs> the rich, I don't know why I liked it. And I think I liked them because I typically am not drawn to very wealthy, white, entitled people. But rich people who I feel like have a grasp on society and the people around them – some reason I always feel like they've made it through the fire. Some I don't know how to describe what it makes me feel like. Because growing up, there was that's one thing that could piss me off was just someone who thought they were better than somebody else. But anyway, yeah, my favorite character on um, um, Marsha Warfield. That's it. Yes, Norm said it. Yes, um, a different world was Freddie. Freddie Brooks, the one that was with the glasses. No, she was just, the, she was a flower child, frizzy hair, turned into the judge. Was that Cree? Uh, Cree Summer, yeah. Yeah, oh my God, yeah, I liked her. She, went my, she, was, yeah. <laughs> she was a little too unstable for me. I needed someone stable. <laughs> I love me some Freddie Brooks, listen. <laughs> <sighs> Freddie Brooks is my favorite. And Cree Summer to this day is my favorite. I follow her on Instagram. Oh, is she still, oh, she's still, what's she, what's she been on, anything? She is a voiceover queen. Oh, that's right. That's right. Now I remember. Queen. Yes. She was skinny in um, Inspector Gadget. So oh. got me right there. That's she funny I can so remember her name. Yeah. See, oh. Cree, yes. Cree Summer is everything. Jasmine Guy, though. I've, I've followed a few of her videos when she was kicking it on VH1 and MTV. Uh-huh. I can't say she was a, a straight crush, but she was damn close. <laughs> 
Yeah. Oh, oh my gosh. So, all right. So I'm reading with Pocket Appears. You're reading with Pocket Appears. We're all reading with yeah. Pocket Appears. Uh, and do we have a Jamie sighting? I don't think so. I uh, just text the texter and let her know. I said, I sent her a text. I said, we're talking about you. We're talking all <laughs> about you and the Kickstarter. Come in. Come in and share some love. So, okay. Never. Oh, that's right. Never knew until a week ago. Cree was a uh, penny from Inspector Gadget. That's funny. Yes. Yep. Oh, all right, so let's do some reading. So if you've been here, you know how this works. If you're new, listen closely. In just a moment, don't do it yet. In just a moment, I'm going to ask you to give yourself, give us permission to read you. If you've never had a reading before, we want you to be one of the first ones. If you had a reading two weeks ago, please don't say raise your hand until later. Um, and, but if you had it four weeks ago, maybe wait. Put your finger, thumb over the button, but wait a little bit. But if you want a reading, we're going to each pull one card. And um, just give you a reading, um, and you don't get to ask any questions. We just tell you what spirit thinks you need to hear. You need to type in the word me, M E, so that lets us know that you want to read it and you give us permission. And V will read them off, I'll write them down. So we're going to pick eight. So the first eight, type me. Go for it. Dun dun dun. Sip a little water. Right. Oh, who is that? Baba. Teresa Rose. Who did you say first? Miroslava. Oh, Miroslava. Yep. Teresa Rose. <laughs> Michelle, you're crazy. Just um, type in the word me, Michelle. Tiana. Louise. Wait, did you give me something in between Teresa Rose? Um, no. Okay, so um, Louise. Um, Jesse. Oh, did we get? I didn't get Tiana. Yeah, Tiana, Louise, Jesse. Okay, yep. Louise, Tiana, Jesse. Sue. Sue. Yay, Sue. Deanne. Deanne. Mm hmm. Um, and Paula. And Paula, that's eight. Okay. We are Michelle's done. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. So you guys, Michelle Wells, uh, Michelle, please put in your su su Soultopia. I almost said soup, Souptopia. Soultopia um, website. This woman is amazing. She has an online store. She's mm -hmm. just this gorgeous Texas Southern accent woman mm -hmm. who is a lawyer by trade mm -hmm. and slinging cards and doing intuitive stuff. And she just wrote a, an amazing book. So put in your stuff there, Michelle. We love that you're here. So, now, okay, Diane, so, yeah, oh, you got the book. So this is Michelle's book. It's got a short main title, but a very long subtitle. <laughs> and she talks about that. <laughs> Michelle's like, shh, no, you can't hide. <laughs> Michelle, you can't hide. Uh, which part, the lawyer part or how sweet you are? So, um, <laughs> so if you did not get on a reading, then what you do is you piggyback with somebody. So you... Right now, pick a number one to eight. You don't have to tell us unless you want to, but you don't have to tell us. And then when we get to that number, you piggyback along with them. So here's the order we'll be reading tonight. Number one, Miroslava. Number two, Teresa Rose. Three, Louise Weezy. Four, Tiana. Five, Jesse. Six, Sue. Seven, Deanne. Eight, Paul. Ola. <laughs> Ola. <laughs> Love you, Michelle. <laughs> Woo. Oh, my goodness. So... All right, so Miroslava, and I hope I'm pronouncing it right, and I love your name, by the way. Let us know that you're still out there. And anybody else, if you're going to choose um, number one, um, then this is for you, but we're going to address and mainly focus on Miroslava. So I'm sure you're going to go first, as always, V? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. I'm going to go for eight today because we talked before camera. Okay. Go with it. And I'm going to go with six. Ooh, I, I looked cool. down, and that was the first number. I know, I never do six. I know, I never do eight. We're, just gonna, we're all going to try, try something new tonight. Pick a number you never pick, people. Who's, uh, who's it? Tracy Sparks, you can't pick eight tonight. Yay, I'm saying it right. Oh, did you change your last name? Oh, no. Do you, yeah, that's, I was thinking of Teresa Rose. I was like, wait a minute, what happened? So, all right, so let's do it. So, V? All right. So Y'all are going to hear a different sound tonight with her in those tiles. I know, so loud. So loud. 
And all the number ones, this one is for you. All right, here we have the Six of Cups with Rana Jalar. Oh. So the Six of Cups here is talking about finding emotional balance, okay? It's time for you to find the things that make your heart happy, all right? These can be old memories. These could be, um, you know, finding some sense of nostalgia, things that brought you happiness. But the trick is, is to not stay there. Sometimes we can you know, fall into that old memory and want to be in that space. And it kind of takes us back into a, uh, where we, we aren't present anymore. So this is saying, remember those old memories, get the juice that you need, the gas that you need, but then use that gas to keep going. Okay. Don't get stuck in the past. Use it to fuel you and to keep moving. Okay. Settle your heart and then open it up and go forward. Okay. All right, and for all the number ones, and Miroslava from me, oh, four of swords. Find your peace. Oh my gosh, is this Carrie Paris? It is, I just uh, talked to her. Oh my gosh. So you guys, find your peace, find your, uh, you guys, Miroslava, it's time to find your peace, time to find your center. And I really am drawn to the sword in her hand that she's holding. Um, you know, she's picked it up in the old and typical, you know, right away, the sword is to the side. You know, it's like they're ready to grab it in case there's something. She's already got it. So I do think Miroslava and the number ones, now is a little bit of time to do a little weed whacking. Get rid of stuff that is not serving you. People that are draining your energy. You know, cut the things out that you just, just do an inventory of what you need and what is making you happy. And anything that is like compromising who you are, just let it go. And do your best to find that inner peace. I love the purple color coming from behind her. You know, so really can do your connecting up to spirit from that third eye and crown chakra. And uh, just, you know, find that peace. Find it however you can. And I do want to say, for those of you who, who may know Rana, you know, she is very vocal about stuff going on with her husband. Um, they finally brought him home from intensive care for months and months and months. So since her card came up, if you all could just send a beautiful, wonderful, high vibration to Rana George and her family um, and her children that are growing up too quick and too fast. Zane, if you ever see this. <laughs> I'm like, are you like 6'12 now? Oh my God. And he, has, he did blonde hair. So yeah. Did you see him with his blonde hair? He was on the porch. He was on the porch. Yeah. You okay there? You okay? You know. I can only think about him at the reader studio with his peasant costume on from that night. I'm just like, that's that's the Zane I remember. And I remember that night. I know. I remember that night, that our, our conversation. So, all right. So that was for Miroslava and number ones. Miroslava, if that made some sense or any of the number ones, let us know. Um, hopefully, love and light your way. You're welcome, Miroslava. Thank you for hanging out with us. Hey, and you guys, by the way, if you ever want to support us, one of the best ways you can do it is share this to your page and let some other people see it. That's a great way of supporting if you feel comfortable. I know sometimes, you know, people don't know you're on the woo-woo pages. <laughs> All right, so Teresa Rose, and I do feel like I need to say both names. So Teresa Rose and anybody who chose number two as a piggyback, here we go. All right. So <laughs> thank you, Paula. <laughs> looky, looky. It is it's looky. you. <laughs> Y'all, that's V. If I pull me, that's going to be hysterical. It's so surreal. Or if I All pull right. you again. <laughs> so Teresa Rose with this hair fit card here, uh, this hair fit tile, it is talking about, um, you recognizing what you can teach the world um, and also what you can learn from it, okay? Um, there is information that you have that is needing to be put out into the world in only a way that you can do it, okay? Um, you've learned a lot of lessons in your life and you kind of created structure around it. So now it's about you sharing that information with other people, okay? This can also be talking about stepping out of convention. I know the Hierophant is about being conventional, but this is talking about stepping out of some of that convention to kind of make your own rules and go your own way, okay? So I hope this resonates for you. And from me, Teresa Rose, anybody who chose number two? Aw, that's um, Andrew, right? Three Andrew. of Wands. Oh. And this is such a perfect card for, for him and for this. He, he's a big crystal, big angel person. So, so with this mm -hmm. Three of Wands, and I love the colors that, that um, um, Jamie drew in with this card as well. So really set yourself up to allow 
the goodness to come to you. And I'm using Spirit's words because I normally would never say let the goodness come to you. So set yourself up. The Three of Wands is all about the thing that you long for, wish for, and hope for. It's right there. You can see it. It's out there. You can taste it. You're dreaming about it. You're waking up going, where is it? I know it's here. And this is about creation and manifesting. So continue to set yourself up on a daily basis for the goodness and allow it to come to you. And don't be afraid to talk to the rocks. Talk to talk to the rocks, to the crystals. Um, you know, Teresa Rose, if you are into crystals, um, I don't know what that purple stone is, but I would say connect to some purple as well because I'm being drawn to that. Um, mm -hmm. Also, Spirit just said get out and get your feet in some grass and some earth if you are in a place that is green right now and it's, it's not too freezing cold. Um, so, yeah, so definitely connect to some of Mother Nature. And we're back to the rocks and the crystals. So um, I feel like there's a lot of that going on. So, oh, my gosh, Amy Mauser is here. Hey, so, so Teresa Rose, I hope that makes some sense. Hey, Crystal Rose, Logan. Hello. You are Crystal. You showed up just the right time. Oh, amethyst. Yeah, that's probably what it is. Because yeah. it, it's drawn kind of funny. I think this is Amethyst. Isn't this Amethyst? That is Amethyst. Yes. Right here. here. Boom. Here's my chunk. Ooh, nice. Nice. So, all right, this, um, this hits home on so many levels. You're welcome, Teresa Rose. Anybody else you chose number twos? Hey, Polo, did your, um, is your Lenormand deck, is it out there yet? Is it for sale? Where are we? How's mm -hmm. it going? Is it? Is it? Oh, I don't know. Okay, let us know, because we, we're going to pimp you out a little bit here if it is. We want you to drop a little dot .com, let everybody know how to get to it. So we are doing Louise Wheezy number three next. Diane said that resonates for you too. Oh, you got covered in purple glaze at my job today. Kind of like slime. Thank you, Amy. All right, so number three for Wheezy B. Yes, Louisey uh, Wheezy B. I have to figure out where to place this because I see I'm putting it over my face. So let's put it right here. So here we have the fool. All right, so Wheezy, <sighs> you are um, in this place of new beginnings, okay? It's time for you to step out on faith. You've been doing the work and you've been feeling it in your spirit for quite a bit. Um, and it's time for you to kind of, you know, go your own way. Don't have the fear of failing. You know, you have wings. You just have not tested them yet. All right. So jump out there. You will. I'm, I'm telling you, the wind will catch you. All right. So start this new journey with, you know, love in your heart, with a spring in your step. <clears throat> And, and just know that you are on and moving into the right path. Okay? So. Can you repeat that line? You have wings. What? Uh, you have wings. You just have not tested them yet? Yes. You have wings. My gosh. Have not been yet. If anybody reads tarot, you need to remember that line for the fool. What an amazing, you know, like, because the fool steps off the cliff. You know, mm -hmm. and they haven't tested their wings yet. And the fool is very right. naive. So this is all beautiful, beautiful stuff for you, Weezy and Louise, number threes. Ah, oh, the devil. Yes. This is like the other side of it. This is the almost like the opposite. You, you've ripped your wings off, you know. <laughs> You're afraid to test them. You're afraid to get on that bike and ride because you know it's going to take you somewhere glorious. So the devil can often be about being feeling trapped and chained in place. I love the fact that um, Jamie chose, is this, her, is this her partner? I can't remember. Yes. Yeah. So is it John? No, I can't remember his name. John? Tim? Tim. Tim. I knew it was three letters. I was thinking J-O-N in my head. Um, <laughs> so anyway, I love that she drew him looking what we would call forward because at least, you know, this person's off the bike ready to take a step forward. So I really feel like, Louise, Weezy, this is a good time for you to take a step forward like V was saying. You know, you test those wings. It's okay, you know. Just Here's the vision image Spirit's giving me. That little bird that, you know, steps out of the nest and tries to fly. It ain't gonna fly the first time. And what does it do? Boom! It bounces off the ground. It's not even phased. It's like, that was fun. Let me do it again. You know, exactly. so so it's time to step out, have some fun there. So, all right. Oh, Amy, we that was number three we just did. Your number. <laughs> that was number three. Oh, you did. You replied to her. Mm -hmm. So, um, Louise, Weezy, and anybody who chose number three, hope that helped. Let us know. And now uh, we're going to Tiana next. Tiana! Teresa says, I'm grabbing my amethyst. <laughs> Sleep with it tonight. All right, Tiana. 
Oh, Tiana, we have Trudy as the Three of Swords. All right. So with this Three of Swords here, this is talking about balance. I actually heard it from another person. I saw I was like, this is a good name for this card. It's about balance. Um, of course, we think of the Three of Swords as being as a place of heartbreak, but it really is the balance between head and heart. Sometimes those two things do not... <laughs> They do not go together. They do not want to be on the same page, you know? So this is about finding that balance from what you think and what you feel, okay? Um, and if there is anything that is causing you a sense of heartbreak, then it's time for you to grieve it. Let it go. Stop holding it in, all right? When we hold things in, we're just kind of pushing them down and adding to this stockpile of yuck. You know, so if you if you're wanting to grieve or you're needing to grieve something, lament, let it out. Once you open the air to it, you know, you can begin the healing process. OK, but as long as it's bubble gum in your stomach, it'll just continue to collect other things. OK, so this is why she's the BFF, people. As long as there's bubble gum in your stomach, it's going to collect other things. <laughs> so can I tell you what your first book is going to be? It's going to be Sayings by V. So you need to start writing all these down. As long as there's, as long as there's bubble gum in your stomach, it's going to continue to collect other things. Magical metaphors, like that's all that my brain picks up and down. Yes, do it, do it. All right, Tiana and um, num other number fours. This is the Empress, another number three. So two number threes on a number four. So the Empress is a birth, beginnings. It starts. It's this beautiful Earth Mother energy, and you know, tapping into this card. I love the look. Um, do you know who this person is on the card? Uh, Christine Gorman. Oh my gosh, Christine! So I yep. love her look because it is this. It's a knowing. It's this smile of, yeah, things have been hard, but I'm good. So I feel like where you are right now, Tiana, and other number fours is step into that place. It's kind of like the eye of the hurricane. You know, you're looking at all the drama going on around you, but you're okay right now. As long as you keep moving, you'll stay in the eye. And this is really just a nice place to be, you know, with this knowing in your heart that everything's going to be okay. You know, the empress, empress's job is just to be that mother, give that birth, and have some beautiful, wonderful fun. The number three is very creative, um, optimism. It's beautiful expression. Um, it's just joy. So stay and stand in that. And then also look at all the pictures up on the wall. I don't know if these are card. Or she, I'm assuming she's an artist of some sort. So get into your get into your creative side as well, because I think Mother Earth is like this amazing artist just bubbling around us. So there you go. Number four is Tiana. Turn them into an oracle deck. Yeah. <laughs> That idea. I like that idea, actually. You're getting your business plan on tonight. Listen, I need more hands and more more Z's to do all the business well, plans. You're gonna have, you're gonna have to hire an ass assistant soon. <laughs> oh, all right. So who's next? Number we're number oh, what, five. Yeah, we number five with Jesse. And I, I've got. I, I saw it in my deck. There's a card that's upside down. <laughs> oh, it's a fatty bananas. Oh, what is it? Oh, it's death. Da, da, da. And I love this death card. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I can't remember who it is, but I love it. All right. So number five and Jesse. Number five and Jesse, we have the Wheel of Fortune. Wheel right. of yes. Fortune. fortune. <laughs> so <laughs> this is all about growth. It's all about expansion. It's all about movement. All right. So this is talking about let the wheel go, release control, you know, so you don't get dragged. Okay. This is about going with the flow and allowing yourself to be open to what is coming into your life. Okay. Um, there's also an element of cycles to this. So it's saying that everything in your life is temporary. So if you find yourself having quote unquote road rash from hanging on to the bottom of the wheel, <laughs> Allow yourself to just let go, okay? There's, <laughs> there's no need to keep being dragged along, okay? So it's just temporary and things will change. But as long as you try to hold on, you will create more hurt within yourself, all right? Did you write that one down? That, that reminds me of what Oprah always talked about, her holding on to the bumper 
of the the guy that just broke up with her when she was 19 years old as he drove away like, love me, please. I'm like, oh, my God, are you kidding? Um, so, so Jesse, number five's, oh, the tower, dun, 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 break it all down. It's, and I love this, and I don't know who this is, but I, I feel like I should know who this is. But That's Lisa. Oh my gosh, this is, this is Lisa? This is Lisa? Yes. <laughs> yep, Lisa that's, that's my business course with. I love it. And so, so that I love this image for the tower car because it's literally like they threw everything up in the air and just says, okay, what lands first I'm gonna take care of. So the tower card is often about complete disruption. Um, I love Pollyanna and me likes to say it's like tilling the garden. You, you know, you've 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 harvested all the fruits and vegetables. Now, if you till, you don't till it up, you're just going to get crappy stuff. So till the garden up, plant something new. Let's get going. But this is like, let me make the mess myself. So I'm in charge of it. Then I'll put it back the way I want to put it back. It's literally like pulling the, the Jenga block out yourself you know, and making it fall so that you can reset it the way you want to do. And Spirit just said, you know, if, if, if you're trying to rebuild something the same way it was before, you didn't get the lesson because you're just going to have the same problems again. So it's, it's time to rebuild it in a new way, in a new way. So that is Jesse and all the number fives. And hey, Zuri. Hey, Zuri. Okay, my phone didn't go off. That was good. Just right. speak them all into a voice memo. <laughs> Road rash. I'm going to write a, I'm, I'm, I'm jazzed, jazzed about, about this now. So Diane says she wants to be your assistant. Okay, Diane, first first thing you can do is collect all the memos tonight and email them to V. Okay, thank you. <laughs> oh, God. She can only pay you in readings right now. That's, 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 that's what, what I got. That's what I got. All right. All right. Six, and it's Sue. Sue. If she's here. And me. Uh, I'm number six, too. Oh, that's right. You are number six. All right. Let's see. Sue is watching. We have the nine of wands. Okay. So first thing comes to my head is just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. <laughs> nine of wands here talks about perseverance. It talks about determination. It talks about just keep going. You know, you're at the part of the tunnel. <laughs> you're at that part of the tunnel um, where you can see the light and it feels like it's so far away, but you really are getting closer. If you look behind you, there's a lot more ground behind you than there is in front of you. All right. I also talk about taking it back to your why. If you have been on a journey for a while, come back to your why. Does your why still, you know, is your journey still justified by why you got into it? If it has changed, you, you are, are allowed to change, change your mind and change your course. Your course. Don't, Don't just stay on it because you started it. Make, make sure that your why is still relevant. relevant. Okay? okay? So, that's, that's what I got. Come back to your why. That's for me and for Sue. And Sue, for me, three of cups. Oh, and once you come back to your why, have some fun. Enjoy yeah. it. It's going to be a whole lot more fun and satisfying and fulfilling if you come back to your why. You know, this is just such a beautiful card. Look at the faces on these three. It's just like, and I love the, I love the one in the middle. They're like, are you taking the picture yet? <laughs> it's like, it's like, I'm just here to have some fun. But again, just be joyous. Look at all the fruitfulness around it. This is very, got a lot of Emperor's vibe to it as well, even though it's not, you know, earth energy at all. But yeah, find that joy and that optimism amongst, you know, those around you that you you feel comfortable with. And, you know, when you coming back to the why is, is such a good thing. And then once you get there, apply that three, three of cups energy of just joy and um, heart-centered love and appreciation for those around you, especially those that support you, lift you up. So number six is and Sue, there you go. And me. Don't just stay on your course because you started. It's great advice. Yes. Oh, that's so hard for us people pleasers. Yes. Whew. I don't know if it's yep. just the Pisces in me or what, but yeah. Abandoning ship, you're just like, well, wait, what are people going to say if I don't continue doing this thing that I've been on doing it for a while, even if I care nothing about it anymore? Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. All right, so... <clears throat> All right, so uh, Deanne is next, number seven. Number sevens and Deanne. Sue, you're welcome. You're Gl welcome, Sue. Glad it made some sense. 
Oh, Diane, Diane says she's going to watch rewatch this and email you all the, all the, all the things. <laughs> Dopeness. Thank you. Um, all right, so number seven and Deanne, we have the Page of Pentacles. And I can't remember her name, um, but she has a store in New Orleans, oh, yes. uh, Spirit of Awakenings or something. I can't remember the name, um, but I think Awakenings is in there. Um, so with this Page of Pentacles, this is saying that you are brand new with starting something um, that's going to be about stability, whether it's health related, whether it's finance related, whether it's family related. There is some, a brand new seed um, that you are kind of being in charge of. You know, there might not be a whole lot of confidence behind what you're doing just yet, but stick with it. You know, uh, learn, talk to a mentor. I always tell people, if you don't know what to do, find somebody that is successful in doing it and talk to them. Be a student. Okay. Um, but this is saying, you know, you're starting a new sense of stability. Stand your ground with it. Water it, till it, the whole shebang. Okay? I think, is it Faye or Fatima? Fatima. Fatima? Okay. Yeah. All right. And then um, Deanne and other number sevens. Ah, oh, Six of Swords. I love this card, too. So, oh, this is spirit coming in. It's really, now is the time to face the demons. <sighs> Um, face them head on. I'm really drawn to the fact that this person has a pen. There's a journal. Um, I really feel like Deanne and any other number sevens, now's a good time to do some writing. Did I say six of swords or seven of swords? Either way, it's, I know it's six of swords now, but I'm just looking at it going, I don't even know what I said. But face those things head on. It is n now you've pushed through. You hear me stammering and stuttering. It's like, now is not a time to back down from the things that are uh, that are fearful. It's like it's like it's like every dream movie where the person, if they know they just turn to the thing that's chasing them, and they realize it's a dream, then they have the power. So right now is you know grabbing your power back and you know facing that stuff. Six of Swords typically is about leaving, walking away, starting some new things, and this kind of speaks to that in the sense of okay, I'm going to face what's what's going on. I'm looking to the new territory, you know, but I'm also facing what's been keeping me trapped and chained in place. And I feel like words, writing, journaling, and stuff like that might help. There could be some automatic writing involved, but I feel like getting your thoughts and feelings out on paper is going to be a big big help, Deanne. So anybody else, number seven. So hope that hope that helps and resonated. All right, the number eight or the last one of the night is Paula, and this is the one that I picked. Yes, and I think um, somebody else picked eight too. Somebody else said so. All right, let's see. Number eight, and so you said Paula. Thank you, Deanne. I did say six of swords. Okay, good. <laughs> Because when I make, V will back me up. When, I'm, when I make a mistake or she make, you trust it. If we're looking at a card and we're saying something totally different, spirit literally just fogged our eyes over so we would say what we needed to say. Yep. All right, number eight, Queen of Swords. All right, so this Queen of Swords, and it also makes me think of um, Amy Winehouse. I know this is not her. Um, she's a wonderful um, jeweler from what I know. I can't remember her name. Um, but... With this Queen of Swords, it's time to speak your mind. It's, start, it's time to be about that business, okay? Um, this talks about boundaries, using your communication to create boundaries. This is not about necessarily guarding yourself and pushing people away, but just letting them know who you are, what you're here for, and um, what lines not to cross, okay? Um, I like this Queen of Swords. The, the Queen of Swords as a whole, because, because queens are always about being receptive, you know, so she's not going out to basically curse anybody out, so to speak. But, you know, when things come across her plate, she has no problem speaking up when they cross her. And that is the biggest thing is using your communication. It may be bold, blunt, to the point, but letting people know where you stand in all things. Okay, so this is not going out and going rah, rah, rah at people. But when they come to you and cross those very important boundaries of yours, it's putting them in their place and letting them know. Okay? All right. And from me, oh, eight. Strength on number eight. I love it. So, yeah. So, this is, and this is quiet, subtle strength sometimes. 
You know, typically mm -hmm. it's this, it's typically it's a woman opening the mouth of a, a lion. And that is this quiet strength that she has because that lion could tear apart. But it's, it's, it's another queen that has the power within her not the physical power it's it's her ability and i love this this beautiful gorgeous soul holding this beautiful cat with the sun clouds out back so so i would say you know notice how she's holding the cat and if you if you own cats and you know cats some cats love to be held most cats they're like okay i'll let you touch me for about five minutes and then i'm i'm gonna do my own thing then if you sit down they'll like get in your lap but the moment you try to control them they're like mm, no this is not how it works so once again quiet subtle strength if they come to you like v was saying that might be a time for you to, to say what you need to say but um, yeah, so real, and I just keep being focused on the bright yellow. Oh, that's why the infinity sign, the limnescape. You know, this is because I, I couldn't see it with the lighting. But yeah, this mm -hmm. continue to realize that your eternalness, your never ending self, the cycles that you go through day to day, minute to minute, second to second, year to year, you know, and honor those cycles. Um, if you, um, Paula, if you're someone that practices any kind of ritual or magic or anything, you know, set up an honor of the cycles right now just work on the cycles you know we we just entered aries which is kind of like the first of the year of the zodiac signs you know where spring is here kind of a thing so yeah a lot of cool stuff um and um hey rebecca good to hey. see you and then so and samaj thomas is the sun right in the yep. deck yep so if you're if you're a um if you're a pocket appears tarot person and you're here Put your put your card in there. So so yeah, we'd love to hear. My kitty does not like to be held, but for a minute, yeah. Sebastian, a minute done. Bart, I could put him over my shoulder, and he would stay there for for a long time. And Bart, let me. I got to show him eight of cups. My baby, he's right here with me. So all right. It. So that was all eight. And that was for UV and for Paula UV. Makes total sense for me. Oh, cool. There's Jamie Sawyer. She is here. Yay, Jamie. So you guys, we, we started off the evening talking about, you know, the decks that we're using. I'm using the Pocket of Heroes, Pocket of Heroes, Pocket of Heroes Tarot deck. And V is using the, um, the tiles. This Friday, 10 a.m. Jamie, put your link in there. Uh, this Friday, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, the Kickstarter starts. I don't want y'all to get ahead of me because I'm gonna be on the. There's only like 20 of the, 20 of the black tiles. This is what I'm buying. This is what I'm buying. A whole set of the black tiles, special edition. So I'm buying the whole set. So don't y'all get ahead of me, <laughs> Jamie. You block one off of me. So Jamie said I downloaded the app just for you. Yay! <laughs> oh my gosh. So which which what app did you download? Facebook. Yeah, that's what she. I think she texted me. She was like, "I had to download it." I was like, "We're still on." Does she? Know, oh, does she? Is she only doing a computer or something? I don't know. Yes, pocket appears. Amazing. My finger is already on. I I hear you, Paulo. I hear you. I'm so ready. And um, oh, here's. So I got the Lenormand tiles and the giant board. Which, if you want a reading, I will be using this and the Lenormand tiles. From Jamie. The, the Norman Tiles come in this gorgeous wooden box. And here is the house tile. And I, what I love about the, the tiles and the, the board is you lay them on top and you can see what houses the, the tiles are sitting in, which is really cool. So, yeah. Jamie is the bomb. Oh, there's v, that's V special. Oh, yes. These are... These, my special ones are actually in my work bag, but this is my special bag that, um, from Moonlit Fay. we call it Witchy Baton because it's got my, um, my logo on it, <laughs> but these are my, like, first edition, uh, tiles when she was doing paper bats, um, before they were engraved and before they changed, so... My working, my working tiles with my actual logo on the back are in my work bag in the car. So, yes, Jamie is the bomb. Top-notch products, definitely. Jamie, it's easy to make you blush. I mean, it, well, it's easy for us to say what we're saying, and it's probably making you blush because your work is amazing. Yes, it truly, truly, truly is. So maybe, maybe and, you know, maybe once Polo 
gets his Lenormand deck out there, it can turn into a tile oh. set of tiles. Put a little fire under Polo. Come on, Ken. Let's get it. We're making matches. I'm still, yes. I'm still hoping Chitter Marchetti would somehow give her rights to make some things. I would buy at least the Legacy and the Lenormand too. Mm -hmm. Come on, Witchy Vita. <laughs> That's my time. That, that made me I'm sweat. So friends, like I fall into her DMs. Like I am seriously trying to creep on her. I'm like Jamie. <laughs> Jamie said it right there. She wants to do there all the go. collabs. Do it. Polo, Jamie, Jamie Polo. Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> oh. So, you, yeah, you guys, so this Friday, 10 a.m., you can get on. It's running for a couple weeks, I think, through, is it like April 20th or something? But um, she's got all kinds of levels, and I think, V, you were saying the names of the levels. So I'm getting, because it's all like school. I'm getting the yeah. electives. <laughs> Yes, you guys have to understand how much I love names and branding. And so when you guys go to the website when the Kickstarter drops and you can see how she's named everything, like I was drooling over here. Like, oh, yes. <laughs> it's amazing. Amazing. Very well thought out. Very well crafted. Okay. So. Yep. 326 to 421. I love it. But yeah, you guys, you can get a deck with an electronic book, two decks with two books, two decks with one book. <laughs> you can get the electives, which is the tile. Um, mm -hmm. Just amazing. So a lot the of beautiful pure, stuff. The peer pack with the conference case. It's just, <laughs> it's dope. It's just all dope. Oh, all right. So, well, everybody, thank you for hanging with us tonight. Um, and you, if you ever want to, you know, support us, um, one of the best ways is just liking this, being here with us, sharing this video, especially when we log on. Um, v and I both have um, virtual tip jars. We're going to put those in there. If you feel led and want to drop us, you know, five or ten or something like that, great. If not, don't worry about it. Just share. Share this and like it. Um, go check out jamiesawyer336.com. Um, she just opened up a big website. She was, I think, doing anything on Etsy, if I'm not mistaken, is how you were doing it. Um, and the website is, boom, there. So thank you all for being here. And, and V, you good for two weeks from tonight? I believe it's April 4th. Um, yes. Okay, cool. I've already made a meetup for that, and I've already made an event for that on Facebook. So we will be back two weeks from tonight. Um, so, yeah, bring your peeps, share. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yes, yes I am. We have a Patreon. Um, it is Red Light Readings. It's the Spirituality Party. Um, so if you guys are interested, I have a couple of different, like four different tier, uh, maybe six, but a couple of different tiers there. Um, my lowest tier, $5, you get tea every morning. Okay. So me giving you a card for the day. Um, oh, there's a sneak peek also. There is, um, I have dropped my manifestation, my third manifestation box, my BFF box, which is manifesting happiness. So um, if you guys are interested, BFF, Patreon BFFs get first crack. So there are, the, the link is posted if you become a Patreon um, member. If not Wednesday, um, the link will be posted publicly for BFFs to grab that box. So, yay! Hey. Thank you, Linda. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, James. Oh, and the tea is hot, Polo oh, said. Well, that is hot. Hey, Polo, what is your um, All Seeing Eye? What's your page? Put that in there, too, so people can check that out as well. You do a lot of fun stuff over there. And you guys, Jamie Sawyer, I think she is um, the most active on Instagram. I think mm -hmm. that's her that's her baby. She does yeah. some such cool readings, you guys. If you could see, she did yes. a little table with chairs and the table holds cards and then the chairs hold cards or tiles. I mean, it was like all the peers are sitting around a table. It's like it made me think of when I was a kid playing like, you know, house and dollhouse and stuff like that with the mm -hmm. G.I. Joe and stuff. Um, yeah, I didn't have Barbies. Who wants Barbies? I want G.I. Joe. <laughs> Catch dolls. I was like, Barbie, it's too small. Give me something. Give me something with some meat, kind of like me. But you know. <laughs> so there's Polo. Um, all seen I fortunes his dot com. Yes, he does yes. a lot of fun stuff over there. So Norm, four uh, four weeks, April fourth. 
It's it's a Sunday. It's, what? No, and then it's April fifth. Let me go make sure I did it right. Because I usually put the event in here too. Boom, boom, boom. Oh look, there's a there's a pocket of Pierce Kickstarter on my calendar for Friday. <laughs> well, look at that. Oh, where can I find it? So I'm trying to find the next one. Make sure I did it right, March 22nd. April 5th, I did do it right. <laughs> Let me copy link. Boom, so I can put it in here. So, and if you go to the... Um, there, I'm putting, I'm putting the Facebook link there. If you go there, you click on the little three dots you add, you can add it to your calendar so it will remind you. That's the fun part. Linda, I will give Santiago, Stefano, and even Sebastian a big hug, um, and Sheldon the Dachshund. So we got a house full again. <laughs> so yeah. All right. Oh yeah, it's Easter. The fourth is Easter. Fifth is a Monday night. So it's the fifth, Monday the fifth. Five, four, nine, fourteen. It's a temperance day. <laughs> Are you about to sneeze? No, it was like a, it was like a yawn. It's gone. <laughs> All right. Speaking of yawns, um, we're probably boring you now. So um, <laughs> let's uh, let's call this a night. So I'm going to say, may the beautiful, powerful, wonderful, awesome sexiness in me see and recognize the beautiful, powerful, wonderful, awesome sexiness in you. Namaste. <laughs> and I say, namaste. All right. Good night, you guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye.